relieve the pressure to your air motor and remove the air regulator by unthreading the swivel fitting. Remove the air motor from the agitator assembly. Put the air motor in a vise and clamp onto the output shaft. Remove the motor top cap by unscrewing it counterclockwise. Remove the needle bearing shaft assembly using a 20 millimeter socket. Remove the spacers, washers, and the needle bearing. Remove the three cylinder end caps by removing the 12 socket head cap screws with a four millimeter Allen wrench. Then remove the cylinders, piston assemblies, and sleeves. Verify that the shaft assembly turns freely. If the shaft assembly is damaged or does not turn freely, check for debris wedged between the counterweight and the motor body. If the shaft still does not turn freely, replace the entire motor. To reassemble the motor, place the motor shaft in the vise, place the lower washer and spacer in the counterweight pocket. Next, assemble the piston assemblies. Lightly lubricate the pistons with grease before inserting the piston assemblies into the cylinder. Place the O-ring around the cylinder and install the piston and cylinder assembly into the motor body. Rotate the piston arm to locate the piston arm inside the lower spacer. Install the remaining two piston and cylinder assemblies in a similar manner. Make sure the O-rings are installed on the cylinder end cap. Install the caps with the screws and tighten the screws between 60 and 70 inch pounds. Note, do not over tighten because it is possible to strip out the threads in the housing. Make sure that the threads on top of the crankshaft are clean. Then install the needle bearing by positioning it inside the sleeves between each piston arm assembly. Install the upper spacer and washer Install and thread the needle bearing shaft assembly through the washer and needle bearing into the crankshaft. Tighten the shaft assembly using a 20 millimeter socket and torque to 20 foot pounds. Grease the needle bearing in the grease fitting with a non-silicone grease. Refer to your manual for the proper grease. Add grease until you see it extruding from the lower washer. Repeat this process every 20 million cycles or every three to four months, whichever comes first. Install a temporary air line to verify that the motor starts and runs at low air pressures.